Governor Moore says 58 commercial vessels have passed through two emergency channels as of this morning. Officials hope to have more or have the Port of Baltimore fully operational by the end of May. Fox 45's Jessica Babb went out with the Coast Guard getting a closer look at that work that lies ahead. Governor Westmore says they're on track with the timeline to reopen the port and a third channel to allow more ships to pass through. They're also in the process of removing containers from the dolly to get better access to parts of the bridge. And when you see this wreckage up close, it really puts it into perspective of just how big of a project this is. Buckling up and getting on the boat. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is BM2 Jacob Morgan. I'm the coxswain on board this boat today. We're going to get this boat moving. With ripples in the Patapsco River and the skyline of Baltimore behind us, we're heading to the site of the Key Bridge collapse. It's still just really extraordinary just to look at. For members of the U.S. Coast Guard responding to the crisis, who've made this trip many times before, they say it's a site that still seems unreal. Just how big, how big it really is, I'd say, and how big those pieces of the bridge are. Seeing it for ourselves, we can see why. Getting up close, you first spot the dolly, a ship the size of the Eiffel Tower. With a bridge strewn across it, it's striking. The part where the road suddenly drops off is haunting. The strong steel that once held up to heavy traffic now shredded, bending like spaghetti. With clear weather and a sunny sky, crews are hard at work. Biggest concern is, is getting that port open, um, and we're, we're making more progress every day. Using weights to break concrete, cutting steel, and cranes lifting it onto barges. They're trying to make sense of the mangled mess. A mess Governor Wes Moore says we can't completely see. Good afternoon. What we're seeing from the top is one image. In many ways, what's even more complicated is what we don't see. The steel, sections of the bridge peeking through the surface, giving us a glimpse of what lies below. Now, crews are working to remove containers from the dolly to access part of the bridge. They need to move 178 containers. So far, they've moved 34. That work is complicated and that work is dangerous. Because just one empty vessel, just one empty container that's sitting on the vessel can have a weight of over one and a half tons. Piece by piece, this wreckage is being removed from the water, an effort to open more channels for boat traffic and find the three missing men who lost their lives. We've got a long road ahead of us, but I'm proud to say the remarkable work of this team that we keep on moving. A long road to recovery, and one day, a new bridge that will be built in place of this destruction. The Coast Guard says one of the biggest challenges they've been facing is the weather. They've had periods where the weather's so bad they've had to pause work because it's just not safe for crews. So the more clear weather we have, the more work can get done. In Baltimore, Jessica Babb, Fox 45 News.